That is horrible. Can you hear it? What? Why? I love you. Hear that door. 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 Every time I walk into this room, I just get a thumping headache. I need to. The door. The door is just what? gone. Sorry, it's right by me. Well, that was a footstep right in front of us. Okay, I want to cry. <laughs> Fielding and welcome to Most Haunted and our paranormal investigation into a little gem of British history, the Old Nick Theatre in Gainsborough, a place that used to be a magistrate's court and a police station, a place now bursting to the seams with ghostly entities. Standing proud and majestically on the corner of two roads in Gainsborough is the Old Nick Theatre. For over 100 years, the divisional headquarters of the Lincolnshire Constabulary and the former Magistrates Court. Although the courtroom was converted into a small theatre in 1979, the structural footprint remains unaltered, providing a unique insight into conditions of people awaiting trial. The cells were used right up until the early 1970s before being closed and passing into private hands. Now housing the flourishing Gainsborough Theatre Company, the Old Nick refuses to be quiet. Many have witnessed apparitions of policemen and convicts alike endlessly wandering the cells and old accommodation areas. Furniture moves on its own, doors slam, people have been pushed on the stairs and the sounds of men and women crying have often been heard. The Old Nick Theatre is said to be so haunted that many won't enter on their own in the day or the night. With all this in mind, I had to bring my most haunted team to investigate. Now a flourishing theatre, this space used to be a courtroom that handed down many a guilty verdict. Is it the misjudged that roam this area, or the guilty enraged at their sentence? with both the prisoners and the police charged to look after them. The ghosts of faceless policemen are often witnessed, no more so than in this area which used to be their common room. to the early 1970s, many people would have been put into these cells and their souls have been trying to escape ever since. Door slamming, poltergeist activity and pitiful cries are heard in the dead of night and in the daytime too. Interesting one in the auditorium um, when we were doing a murder play, and two of our actors were, were wanting to go through Act Two. They were in the auditorium, a very still night. They were in the building all on their own, and uh, this very still night, no wind. There are three doors in the auditorium, three 
big heavy doors and they get to the last line of Act 2 and the last word of this act was murderer. So the actor says, murderer, and all three of them flew open at the same time. Just, you know, just no explanation whatsoever. Well, we, ha we had a new girl that started. She's probably in her mid-twenties. The first day she was here, she could hear talking and laughter up in the auditorium. So up the stairs she goes, into the auditorium, completely empty, nobody there. And the next thing she hears is furniture being moved around, being dragged over the auditorium floor. And she decided at that point that perhaps <laughs> she didn't want to be here on her own. <laughs> there was a table went flying across the room as well in the auditorium. Not only did the table lift up off the floor, it flew across the room. There were bedrooms upstairs and, and on the back stairs that, that come down from the bedrooms, quite a number of people have felt themselves being pushed on those stairs. Somebody pushes them in the back. We certainly heard children singing and laughing in that back area of the building. I'm, I'm very uncomfortable about being in the building on my own. There have been occasions when you really don't want to be in this building on your own. <laughs> about this place is from the outside you just think oh theatre and then you come in here and you can see can't you where it would have been the old courtroom so, so the judge would have sat over here would have come through the door there and you know you can see all the prison cells at the bottom it's, there's so much to it and it's so looking at it from the outside you'd never ever think would you it's a very intimate room as well not only for a courtroom but for a theatre as well but you know if you think back to the times when it was a courtroom it's a magic Straits Court, all the murderers and the really bad people, they would have been done in Lincoln. So I can't think of why this particular building or this room would be haunted for any reason. Oh, you really, oh, you can't. Yeah, but what about all the awful people that were tried here in this particular place and then sent on? Yeah, but it's not where they were actually where they actually died. No, but what I'm saying to you, to you is, is that there are, there's, there's a lot of energy here, bad energy, dating back hundreds of years the people that have committed murders and perhaps those souls are still here, still trapped here. Well, that's something we'll have to wait and see when the lights go out. And apparently there's witchcraft on the land? Yes, the, uh, the Earl of uh, Gainsborough, uh, one of the family, had a big connection with witchcraft. He formed a witchcraft society in London in the 1960s. Uh, but before that as well, a lot of witchcraft went on here. So I'm very... Uh, I want to see what happened here. Well, it would be you know. great if we got something... Yeah, yeah. Well, this sounds yeah. awful. Great if we got something negative here, yeah, but, definitely. you know, you think there it could feels, be? It feels like that anyway, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. See, I would think that it's, even though there's a lot gone on here, I still don't feel that there's, there's anything really horrible here, nasty here. Well, that's the thing. Surely some of it's psychological, isn't it? It's, it's, it's quite warm in here it's it, it doesn't feel foreboding in any way and, and that's a mind thing isn't it so straight away from the offset we're feeling absolutely fine we're in a normal building a normal theater it's just quite intimate and, and all is good with the place yeah. now wherever there's a mass of water there's witchcraft this place here um king canute for instance held back the people think they held back the sea but it wasn't it was a bore that came down from the humber along the river trent which is here like a big tidal wave that comes a few times a year it was that he tried to hold back and that's just up the road. So a big water surge, witchcraft. Oh, OK, yeah, I never yeah. knew that. That's interesting. Yeah. But also talking about the, the, um, the way everything looks, when you go into the cells where people were held, that, to me, totally different atmosphere. Mm. Now, there's no way I... Pfft, that is a scary place. It's icy, icy cold. It's very, very dark. There would have been a, lo a, a lot of angst down there. And, of course, you've got the, the policemen, uh, faceless policemen. You know, they've been... Their presence have been witnessed here. And that, to me, I find fascinating. And I'd love to be able to contact somebody that would have worked here when it was a police station or a magistrate's court, yeah. get a first name and a surname and, and, and get that verified historically. That would, that would be great. I went into the women's cells earlier on downstairs and 
and I, my body went ice cold completely. Oh, right. A terrible place. What yeah, do you think to bad. the cells? Well, I've uh, yet to visit them for the first time. I'd like to go down and have a look, if that's OK, and see what I can glean from it all. OK, brilliant. Well, hopefully, hairs will stand on the back of your head. <laughs> mm. Mm, let's walk on. So you see, Glenn, this place is really, really creepy, isn't it? It is, but, you know, it's not seen any kind of renovation or decoration since the last person left the place, has it, really? Yeah, I know, but that's... I know what you mean, but isn't it great to have somewhere that is exactly as it, as it would have been when the last person left? All the graffiti on the walls. I mean, you can actually imagine people lying... Not on these beds, obviously, but, you know, what they were going through. Yeah, the fear. I mean... Well, yeah, it, it's desolate, you know, I'll give you that. It's, yeah. it's cold, it's, it's manky, it's, it's, it's depressing is what it is. And you can't help but feel that emotion when you're in here. You know, I've only been here for about five seconds and yeah. already it feels like the walls are closing in. Yeah. So anybody who comes to visit is going to feel that depression. It doesn't necessarily have to be a paranormal feeling. Now, there's, there's, there's door slamming here. There's whistling. We've already heard some whistling going on when we've not been on camera. There's a lot of voice phenomena, which is great for Eamon as well. Um, I think there's there's a, there's an awful lot of activity um, in uh, certain parts of the whole building. Less in some, um, um, and really strong in in a lot of parts like here, for instance. Yeah, well, this room's very atmospheric, isn't it? You yeah. know, you, I mean, I know when you're in a cell, even just one night in one of these cells, it's terrible. It drives you mad because you can't speak to anyone, you can't call anyone, you can't do anything. You're everybody's beck and call. You you're stuck here, and that. You know, it does something to you. It does something to your mind. Fingers crossed. I mean, I would obviously just. Well, I want it all. I want. I want to sit. Are you all right? Yeah, there's something a in here, all right? Let's let's <laughs> get on. Come on, we'll turn <laughs> off the lights and crack on. Okay. Ah! Ava. I am so excited about tonight. Not only have we got your usual stuff, which is amazing, the EVP, but we've got something special, something a little bit more. Yeah, I thought we'd try some visual communication. Um, it's something called a feedback loop, which is basically where a camera's pointed to a screen and some people have reported around the world getting some images of, of spirit faces and stuff. So I thought we'd give it a try and just try different experiments out. And this is, uh, this is one of the new ones. Now, when you've given a little bit of a, a, a road test, as it were, You've had a few strange shapes and faces coming through, haven't you? Yeah, you get, you sort of get eyes and nose on, you know, on, on these uh, on these images. So it's it's something that I'm really excited to investigate, to be honest. So you do get things. And how how do we know that the images are not coming from the TV? You know, normal stations. Yeah. I mean, well, the, there's no sort of interruption really because you've got the camera and the TV, and it's literally just that feedback that's going on. And, and the theory behind it is that if there is a spirit, it's supposed to manipulate the light in between that lens and the screen and then try to create a face out of it. A little bit like EVP. Help. That made me jump. What the hell is that? I can't see. What was <sighs> that was directly above us, wasn't it? Big thump upstairs or oh, oh, oh wow, let's see if it does it again. Let's go back sorry, let's go back as where we were. Yeah, so as I was saying before, it's similar to EVP where when there's an audio frequency or white noise, it's supposed to manipulate that and then almost like recycling that noise and using it as a spirit voice, it's the same with the feedback loop. It manipulates that light and turns it into an image. That's the theory anyway. So. We, this excites me very much because I've seen some of the footage um, and because we've been talking about this privately, yeah. haven't we, for a while. And to me, it blows my mind when you, you hear the EVP and then at the same time you're getting faces coming yeah, up. Yeah, actually. Right, we're going to let you crack on. We're going to turn all the lights off in the building so get your right. torch out. It was time to see what the old Nick Theatre had in store for us. With the lights off, I sent Carl and Stuart into the dark male cells, while Fred, Glenn and Greg joined me in the female cells. Oh, no way of heating it, is there? There's no fireplace in there. No. What was that? Was that this door? This, this door here just banged open. Right, well, I'm used to doors opening. Not Which door? Like this one? This one. Yeah, just 
clacked it. Clacked it down. At the moment, Greg, it's pitch black. I can't, what can you see on the night vision? Um, you're basically in what looks like some sort of workshop. Yeah. It's so funny. there's sort of like a, a vice on the on the side of the table down there, and there's a bunch of sort of like wooden stuff kicking around a couple this of cabinets. Shop, Hello. That is horrible. Hello. I'm not really good in dark areas and confined spaces. Well, do you know what? This is a good way of us. I hope these doors don't actually lock. <sighs> you know what I've done? Oh, we're in now, mate. Okay. Wow. Well, what a horrible doom. Is anyone here? Anyone that's supposed to be here? That shouldn't be here? You can't hear a thing. Can you, can you, um, can you copy me? Oh, it's cold, 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 it is cold. cold. It is colder in here, yeah. No breeze is coming in here, is it? Well, there's two holes near the toilet, but I don't know. I don't think they'll be linked to being outside. No, no, that's first back into the corridor, isn't it? This, yeah, poss yes, it will be, yes. Is anyone here? Are any of the spirit entities that are supposed to haunt this place? Are you here? Come on, carry on. Open the door. Are you... Oh, four. <laughs> Sorry, mate, just for a second. Hello? I thought I heard that door go there. Hello? Get around here, because I don't want to come in my own. Is any in there? Hello? Let me look. No, nothing. What the? That was in the other, that was in the other room, that. I can't see it. Hang on, hello? Go on. Has anything moved? Hello? Nothing's moved that I can see. Man, I wasn't really looking for anything, to be honest with you. Is anything in here? Is anyone in here? Can you talk to us? Let me close this door again and I'll just see. Right, let's just check that's closed. Yeah. Can you can you copy me? Can you hear it? Did you hear that? Yes. Was that you? Can you copy me again? My name's Carl. My name's Stuart. Do your worst to us if you can. My throat has gone really dry really quickly. Can you tell me your name? Ladies that were incarcerated here in this in this place, can you please introduce yourself to me? My name's Yvette. I'm Fred. And I'm Glenn. And I'm Greg. Come and talk to these gentlemen. Come and come and say hello. Come and say hello to me. Doesn't feel cold in here for me anymore. It's it no, it's got warmer. Yeah, yeah mm. it was freezing when we first walked in. Can you tap twice for me if you hear? Very faint. Mm, yeah. Very faint. It's almost not almost like. Yeah. 
I'm not saying it's that, but like, yeah. like a knock on the wall or something. Yeah, the walls are very difficult to yeah. hear from, aren't they, Brooke? If there's anybody here, can you tap twice, let us know you're here? Come on, ladies, come forward. We know you were in it. This was a lady's cell. Is anybody here? Did you hear that? Yeah. Now, that could have been outside. Mm. That, to me, again, sounded like Amy's device. Well, whatever it was, it was if it was Amy's device, that was almost like a woman going, ah! Yeah, it did sound like We've got to check that. For some reason, for some stupid reason, I just, I, know, I just feel a bit sorry for myself, and I don't know why. Do you? No. I'm not going to burst into tears. None of that crap. Just, it's like I've done something I shouldn't have done. Well, you're in a cell, aren't you? Yeah. You do that. Are we talking just tonight or generally about what you've done that you shouldn't have done? Tonight. Okay. What the f What the f What was that? That was a blood curdling scream, Carl. Oh my f That's from in here. Can you hear me? What on earth is that? Tell me this microphone will pick that up, Carl. It must have picked it up. It's got it sounds on. I don't like it in here. Oh, I don't no, like it in here at all. No, that's okay. This is how we want it. No, I know that, but I, there's a funny feeling in here. Yeah, there's a desk and a chair in the corner. This it's feels worse, worse, actually, than the cell, isn't it? But why does this feel worse? Maybe they've never had a chance to come in here before. <gasps> It's not the door. It's not the door it's again. It's not the door again, is it? Run, just in case. Obviously, door slamming. Yeah. Carl's right down there with Stuart. But they say they hear doors slamming yeah. down here, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you actually feel now? How, how, how do you feel? At this particular time, I feel... I'm trying to look for the word. <laughs> what? Why now? What the f yes, I did hear that. Well, that was in here. That was in here. What's, is that, that, what, are you sure that was in here, not next door? By my hand, I just ran right into it. Sorry, mate. It's okay. <sighs> there was something on the floor here. What the? F what was it? I don't know. I'm trying what to look. I don't know. I'm trying to look. Now I'm trying to look. Door. Door. That. Door. 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 Did we close that on the way out? We, it, we did close it, but it sounded like it slammed. Hello? It's not in here. Whistling. Is it whistling? Tapping. There's all sorts of noises going on. If you're here, tap twice. Every time I walk in this room, I get a thumping headache. Do you? Yeah. yeah. So I came in here earlier on. So when I came in here earlier on to do GVs and just, you know, look around, um, as soon as I came in, it's really cold, much colder than anywhere else. And also, uh, I get a thumping headache. Every time I walk into this room, I just get a thumping headache. As soon as I step out, I'm fine again. But every time we're in here. Can you talk to us? Close this door. I'm closing this door. That's me closing that, OK. If you are here... Yeah. I feel like I've done something I shouldn't have John, done. I get the feeling that you're feeling now. I, I, I kind of feel myself that... Well, everyone who was in here has obviously done something they shouldn't have done. What's because that? I've had Because I've had way too much imagination. Yeah, but on top of that, there was people down here who were being accused of stuff they hadn't done. Yes, I'll give you that. That's true, yeah. No, I did hear a whistle then. No, I thought I did. I did hear a whistle then. Is there no way it could have been an echo? No.
heard that. Yeah, I heard that. It's coming back, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's but not it's, an echo. it's not an echo. No. It's, too, it's like it's too long a gap. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, I heard a tap then coming from that direction. I did, I did. I did, I did that. as well, yeah. It's like from the same place as the other one. That was there. Yeah. Can you slam a door? Can you hit one of these men? That's tapping. I just want them to slam a door. I want to do something that'll make me jump. That'll make me... You know, be needing a tenor lady. Really important. Well, when you get to my age and you're doing this ghost hunting malarkey, you need all the help you can get. I, f I feel I'm not, I'm not claustrophobic, but I'm feeling quite claustrophobic. Yeah. I think I'd like to leave. Hemmed in. Yeah, that's yes. good. The walls are closing in, aren't they? Right, I'll open Just the doors and. Just okay. Okay. Well, I ask you some this in the room with me. And this is what we get. What's that? No, there's something on that. No, not yet. I don't know. There was no, not yet. It it's a is. voice. I mean, it's Definitely certainly a, a, a full voice. bodied voice, but what is it? It's like, no, not yet, do you think? No, I can't work out. I what thought it I said. heard self something. Just select that part over to there and amplify and see what. Well, that's, that's literally the first recording wow, I've that's done. Great. So well, it's a definite voice, isn't it? In response to your answer, your question. Well, the reason I asked was because the screen was getting more active. Um, what I've done today is I've actually brought a field effect radio with UV light as well to try great. and use that as a carry signal yeah. for the EVP. So it's definitely active. Great. Well, I can't wait keep to see up the good yet. work. Let's keep going. Mm. It would seem that things were definitely moving in the right direction. Already we had doors opening and closing, strange noises and disembodied whistles. We needed to move on, so while Stuart, Darren and Greg went to the female cells, Carl, Fred, Glenn and myself went to the old courtroom. It's weird, it's a weird feeling, it's almost disorientating. It is, Do, do you get that feeling, anybody else? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. you've been spun around loads of times. Yeah, a bit dizzy, I feel yeah. a little bit dizzy. Light-headed. Yeah. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Can you come and... Is that not... Yeah. yeah. That's... But that's a... That's not like the usual... That's not like the usual sort of internal knock. It's like... That's almost like a proper... Where's there? That's almost like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a deep knock, is it? Can you hear me? What's that? I feel like a deep murmuring. Was it at the back there? Yeah. Glenn? Yeah. I'm right behind you, Carl. You just be careful on that thing there, Glenn. Yeah. See you. Is that you over there, Glenn? I'm right behind Carl. Someone was standing right behind me. That's the only there was a figure there. Really? Yeah, yeah, I thought it was Glenn, but then I saw him over there. It was right behind me. Brilliant. Really? It's gone now. Oh, hey, yeah, yes. Yeah. Hello? That's nothing. Right here, Carl's feet. It's right here. It's like in front of me. Hello there. That is right here. I'm not moving at all. No, I'm going to put my hand on it. Right, you can actually feel the vibration of whatever is knocking right beneath your hand. Good grief. It's like there's somebody under there trying to get out. You OK? Stopped. Oh. Put your hand there and ask out again. 
Hello, can you just tap out under my hand? Oh, wow. You make it really, really loud so you can make the camera rock. Just don't move the camera next time. You make the camera ro rock. It's coming from where you are. Yeah, it? no, it's it's like lots. Can you? But that's moved too. Yeah. It has, yeah. Can you tell me, knock out how many of you are here now? Just lots. Just, Just lots. There was, yeah, there was lots. some, but there was some coming from yeah. over there then, right over the other side. Yeah. Just the flusher for the toilets. Yeah. Do you like Carl? Yeah, it's, it's weird, isn't it? I, I just feel like a little on, on edge a bit. Like something's going to happen. You know, yeah, I feel a bit like you know that, that. You know that time when you, you, you sort of think, crying out loud. Someone was in front of me then. That's someone else that was in front of me. Oh! What someone did you see? was someone was in front of me like then. Like what? What did you catch <gasps> What's that behind you? I, 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 I need to. I'm... The door. The door is just what? gone. Did I? Uh, Right, look, the, the light from the camera is casting shadows around the room. Yeah, but this, this that wasn't, that, literally, I... Well, how high? I, it, it, it was a, a good, well, I'd say six inches higher than me, where my hand is there. It's kind of, uh... Do you think you caught it on camera? Uh, where was it? No, because the light was here. Let me... Was it just like a dark shape? It was a dark, but it was there. I saw the I saw the features, the eyes, and, and the... the, 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 the was it male? It, definitely male, it, unless it was one huge... Pretty ugly woman. It was a. a, a, a that, that's freaked me the crap out. All right. If there are any female spirits here, you've got three good looking men in this cell. Now, I'm guessing this would be a dream come true if you're a single female. And you saw a shadow earlier? It, it was more than a shadow. It was, I thought it was Glenn behind me. It, it was like a figure, it was solid. But I couldn't see any features. But then I saw him over here. If I ask, ask to see if um, whatever's here with us can show itself, because we're getting knocking again. Can you show yourself to us? Can you show yourself to us again? It's like there's somebody underneath, it just, is, just yeah. knocking. Can you show yourself to us? Oh. Oh. Well, tell me what you felt then. I felt the whole thing shake. Yeah. But it was, but, but it was like. Boom, boom. Yeah, it, like something was walking. Yes, yeah, yeah, right near us. Sorry, it's right by me. Right, right, okay. No, not, why am I being scared? Shut up, Yvette, you stupid bitch. Because you're bitch. in the dark and it's haunted. We, no, we I know what it is. I'm scared. Right. right, okay, brilliant. Thank you so much for this. Wow. Right, it's on our step. It's right beside me. Are something. you sure it's on your step? It's, yeah, oh, definitely. Something I've is right it. beside me. Something is, something is here. Something is here now, right beside me. Right, OK. Let's calm down a bit because... Right, OK. Something just went... Oh. Right, OK. Well, we're all quite contained. It's really... We're all right. accounted for. It's, it's, it's changing between platforms of yeah. seating that, yeah. whatever it is. <gasps> right, I felt that no, knock. No, listen, was that a, wasn't a knock. That's it was like, a thud. It's, a, it's like footsteps. Yeah. And my toes, I've got, I'm on my tiptoes, because I, I don't really know what to I'm, do. Uh, this is going to be difficult to explain for television, but, but it is in stereo. I'm getting it on the floor in my right ear, and then in my left ear, where, oh, where sure. Yvette's standing with Fred. It's, it's banging on turn. If there's anything you want, shout up now. Do something. Touch one of us. I don't care where you touch me. Just touch me. What the? <laughs> when I saw that thing here, I saw that I, I did see the eyes and the nose. It was it was like something. <gasps> lit, lit. Sorry. Oh, it's the thumping Sorry, it's right. It's on, it's on our step. Sorry. You're gripping my hands Sorry. just as my wife was when she was in labour. <laughs> <laughs> that was right behind you. That was your seat. No, it wasn't. It was this seat. There was so, a seat in front of you. Something's so happening right now. Something just moved something here. 
Yeah, but it wasn't that bad. There's a knock on this. That, listen, that's the. I've just heard that noise uh, okay. from up here. Right. It's not that. It was that. Like somebody's moved yeah. that. Let's yeah, call out the game card and see if we get more. Okay. It's just under my feet. I'm yeah. not going to get scared. Please don't. I am scared. Fine. Come on. Thank you for. Can you show yourself to us? What the? Oh, that was a footstep okay. right in front of us. Okay, I want to cry. Don't cry. Seriously, no, because I can't explain it. I've only ever had that once before, and that was at the Galleries of Justice, and it was so loud. And it's... This thing's just moved behind I us. told you that. You are oh, the that. door. <clears throat> I'm not sure whether it's because there's the old furniture in here, and the old, you know, the, the great... So what have we got in here? We've got the, the fire fire fireplace and stuff. Everything, it's, it's literally just... You're just going back in time, aren't you? Yeah. Nothing, absolutely nothing has changed in here. What the It's like galloping horses. Ah, it's oh. just done it again, it's just done it again. Right, I'm stuck, just, just, I just want it to, for us to see something. Stop it, because it feels different to a knock, that's why. Yeah, Come forward and show yourself, if there's anybody there. We know you're here, come forward. I scare Fed. No, they'll scare us. No, I don't. Oh, yeah. I don't think we've got any chance of scaring them. I've just slapped my own face and it hurt. Oh. Come forward and show yourself. Let me try calling out. Hello there. <laughs> oh, that's a difference. Again. No, I know, I'm just trying to move soft to approach. Have you seen this? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. I'm just trying to move soft to approach. Not from the sweet to the sweet. Shut up. Oh, oh something, something just touched me on the shoulder. Okay. There's nothing hanging down, is there? There is nothing hanging. We haven't got a torch, you know, there's nothing hanging. No. What's laser, that? That's a, a laser pen. That's no, only there's a nothing hanging down. Something just touched <clears> me on the shoulder, but it was... Oh. Can you, can you do something? Can you make a really loud oh. noise? You all right, Carl? I, d I, really, I don't... The trouble is, I, I'm almost at the edge here. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of... Yeah, there's only this, and, and there's, there's that, and there's nothing down there. So... Yeah. Right, let's go back and see what's going down, and we'll see what's happening. Do you want in? Yep, yeah, Roger that. Yeah. Right, let's go. Cool. Oh, Have you just scrapped? Ah! That was a big knock under yeah, my foot. I sorry. I, I felt... Did you feel it? <laughs> I felt the scream in my ear. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. What's the hell? Again. Did you feel so, it? Yes, it's it's driving me nuts because you can't actually get to the bottom of what's causing it or where it's coming from. I want to cause something up. <sighs> Unless there's somebody under the seating, and to be fair. That's highly unlikely. I honestly don't know what's going on. The theatre was most certainly a fearful and active place. With not much happening in the female cells, we regrouped. Glenn, Eamon and myself stayed with the EVP while Carl went alone into the warden's room and Fred decided to conduct an incantation to see what negative spirits haunt here. Hello, can you hear me? Can you show me your face? Please show me your face. Come through and talk to us. Use this equipment and talk to us. My name's Yvette, and I really, really want to talk to you. Well, I would kind of decided to come to the, the woman's prison bit on my own. Because it's uh, um, everyone else is either doing the EVP. I think Fred's doing an incantation. Samux Rex, I know you're here. You're with us in the room. I mean, the room I was in with Yvette and Glenn. I didn't want to frighten them in there, but I'm going to get rid of you now. I'm going to bring someone else to get rid of you. Can you tell me your name? Oh, is that Robert? I don't know, play it. So you 
say, can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? There's definitely something there. What do you think? There's um, the top end of a, a letter T there. Mm. It's the, the, the garble leading up to that. I don't know if that's a long drawn out Robert, as you suggest it might be, perhaps. I just thought it was this main bit here. Well, that could be a repetition of this, but it starts it from there and less than again. So from here? No, from, from where it starts to fade. Okay, so from here. I do hear a T. Yeah. Is anyone here? Can you make a sound? Can you communicate with me? That's all I ask. Crying out loud, that desk just moved. The desk just moved. Hello? I don't want you scaring people in here. And I think you've scared them for long enough. I'm going to banish you from this premises. In the name of the Father. This room is active. It is. And here we go. This was the excuse me. Um, Oh, wow. Did you say before you, you were doing something with we, the chairs? Yeah, me and Carl and Fred and Glenn were in the theatre. We were in the seating area. Yeah. And we were getting thumping back where we were stood in the seating area. And that fits with it because at one point we were all bunched, weren't we? We were all bunched together. We were all bunched together because we were really levels. quite frightened. Really? So that makes sense that's with so something nice. saying, excuse me. Almost me as if they want to sit down. Well, that's what I mean to me. So excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse Play it again. Me, yeah. Okay, what if you're here? Can you move the desk again? In nomine partly to fetter la mal. What? What is the word? Well, that's something, isn't Responsible. it? Responsible. Responsible, I heard that. That's hello, Fred, that bit. Responsible? It, it, is it irresponsible? <gasps> Play it again. So I've got Hello Fred at the start and I can hear that. Oh, you're right. Irresponsible. irresponsible. Oh, that came out loud and clear to my mind. Play it again. Come That's... down here. Greg, I'm going to have to slow this bit down about Fred because I can hear the... I can't hear the Fred, but I can hear the irresponsible. Hello, Fred. No, I'm getting that. I can't hear that. But the next bit. It's just funny that I got that and then... Be gone! Be gone, Samos Rex! Be gone from this place and never return. Be gone from here. Be gone. So I tap on the desk now. Something has just moved. I'm not sure if it was the desk. There's a chair behind the desk. The camera's on the desk. Can you move the desk? <laughs> Right, now that desk moved. The desk moved. With the camera on it. I'm a bit freaked out. Consider this room investigated. There's something in it. With Carl spooked, Fred exhausted and the rest of us amazed at the voice phenomena, it was time to close the investigation. And what an investigation it was. No. What was that? Copy me. Can you hear it? <gasps> what? Why now? What the f that? Yes, I did hear it. Now I'm trying to look. Now I'm trying to look. Do it, do it, Every time I walk into this room, I just get a thumping headache. As soon as I step out, I'm fine again. You sort of think. Ryan, out loud. Someone was in front of me then. I need to. The I'm... door, the door is just what? gone. Oh. Oh. Tell me what you felt then. Sorry, it's right by me. Why? Something is here. Something is here now, right beside me. 
What the? That was a footstep right in front of us. Okay, I want to cry. Ah, it's oh. just done it again. It's just done it again. Right, I'm stuck. Stop. Oh, oh something. Something just touched me on the shoulder. Have you just scratched? Ah! That's all I ask. Crying out loud. That desk just moved. <gasps> Play it again. So I've got hello, Fred, at the start, and I can hear that. Oh, you're right. You're Can you move the desk? Crying like that. Whatever haunts this place truly made itself known to every member of the crew here tonight. Until next time, sleep tight. I need to feel alive.